The Middle Colonies by Maggie, Alex, Lou, and Will. Delaware. What were the Middle Colonies? Delaware. New York. Pennsylvania. New Jersey. Why were the Middle Colonies known as the Breadbasket Colonies? Well, here's the answer. Because of fertile soil and good growing seasons, most farmers grew enough for their family and surplus, which they could sell. They grew wheat, grain, and many other things. The Great Awakening. What was it, and why was it significant? Well, here is your answer. What, what wasn't and most significant? The Great Awakening was the most important event in American religion during the 18th centuries was a series of emotional religious reveals that spread across the American colonies in the late 1730s and 1740s. The Great Awakening. What was it, and why was it significant? Well, here's the answer. What was it, and most significant? The Great Awakening was the most important event in American re religion during the 18th centuries. It was a series of emotional religious reveals that spread across the American colonies in the late 1730s and 1740s. Describe the skilled jobs in the middle colonies and how people learn their jobs. Well, here are the answers. How people learn their skilled jobs? People in the middle colonies learn to do skilled jobs by becoming apprentices, living and working with artisans to learn skills. Now, this is the skilled jobs in the middle colonies. Farming, grass blowers, silversmiths, tailors, brick makers, iron working, fur trapping, soap making, and artisans. King Charles II. Charles II was born on May 29, 1630, in St. James Palace, London, England. After the execution of his father, Charles lived in exile and turned he until he was crowned King of England. Ireland, and Scotland in 1661. His region marking the Restoration period, Charles was known for his cavorting lifestyle and feuds with Parliament. He converted to Catholicism just before his death in London on February 6, 1685. Benjamin Franklin. One of the leading figures of early American history, Benjamin Franklin, was a statesman, author, publisher, scientist, inventor, and diplomat. Born into a Boston family of modest means, Franklin had little formal education. He went on to start a successful printing business in Philadelphia and grew wealthy. Franklin was deeply active in public affairs in his adopted city, where he helped launch a lending library, hospital, and college, and garnered acclaim for his experiments with electricity, among other projects. William Penn. William Penn found, founded the province of Pennsylvania, the British North American colony that became the U.S. state of Pennsylvania. The Democratic principles that he set forth served as an inspiration for the United States Constitution. Ahead of his time, Penn also published a plan for the United States of Europe, European Diet, Parliament of Estates. Tominend. Born around the year 1628, little is known of Chief Tominend's boyhood, but by 1683 he had become chief of the Turtle Clan the Anami, which was the head clan, and thus made Tomanan chief of all the Delawares. Peter Stuyvesant. Peter Stuyvesant, also known as Piotr Stuyvesant, was the son of Irgemen of Friesland. He was born in, Netherlands, in the Netherlands in 1592. Stuyvesant served in the Dutch Army before receiving his appointment as Director General of New Le Netherlands in 1646. He had served in the West Indies and was governor of the colony of Karoka. He lost a leg during the unsuccessful assault 
of the Portuguese island of St. Martin, after which he returned to the Netherlands in 1644. Thanks for